This is the story of the mother of evil. The story of most merciless ladies of Indian history. The sisters, who with their mother abducted or brutally murdered about 13 children, are due to become the first women hanged for 72 years in India. A pair of serial killer sisters from India, who murdered nine kids, one not even a year old. Their helpless victims commissioned to help them steal, ranged in age from nine months to two years old. The evil trio killed the children, they deemed useless in the most gruesome ways. They operate in a gang comprising mainly three members, Anjana the mother of evils, Renu Kashind and Seema, daughters of the merciless mother. Anjana a 58 years old lady became Come the sinist lady of India, after her first husband, a truck driver, deserted her after the birth of Renuka. Then her second husband, a retired soldier named Mohan Gavit, left her after the birth of Seema. Initially they pickpocketing and snatching people's gold chains from around their necks at railway stations. They stole from people mainly in the streets of India's ninth largest city Pune, in Maharashtra state. 40% of whose population live in slums. Renuka was with her toddler son Oashish in the process of pickpocketing someone in a temple complex when the victim caught her. An angry crowd surrounded Renuka, but using the boy as a foil, she managed to escape. After this incident the evil mothers decided to kidnap childs and use them during picking pockets. Anjano expanded the syndicate's operations to other Indian cities or suburbs, Thane and Kalyan in Mumbai, Kolhapur, and Nashik in Maharashtra. Over the next six years period about 40 children were kidnapped. Some were let go, others were deliberately injured to create a distraction, or murdered when they had lost their usefulness. At least nine were murdered, and among the victims were, one was nine months old and other two were eighteen months old. The first of those was an eighteen month old boy named Santosh who Renuka kidnapped from a female beggar in Kolhapur. When Seema tried to snatch a wallet and was caught by the male victim, he began beating her. To create a distraction, Anjana deliberately threw Santosh to the ground and the child sustained a head injury. People then consoled the trio, and the theft went unreported to police. The women then moved on to a bus stop and stole three more purses, but Santosh continued to cry from his bleeding head wound. Anjana decided the boy was of no further use and might attract the attention of police. She struck him with an iron pole until he was dead, and then washed her clothes of blood. They took his body to a rickshaw stand and disposed of it, fleeing back to their hostel. In 1991, they kidnapped nine-month-old Nesh, who was starved and beaten to death because he cried too much. Another victim, Bhavna, was the same age as Santosh. She was gagged, bundled into a handbag and taken to the ladies' toilet of a cinema. In 1993, they abducted a one-year-old child named Bunty and a girl, Swati, two-year-old, from Kalyan railway station in Mumbai, and a boy Gaju, two-year-old, from another Mumbai station. The three women murdered Bunty and Gaju and disposed of their bodies. In 1994, they kidnapped a child Anjali, two years old, in Nashik and killed her and disposed of the body with Ear and Shin's help. In 1995, they kidnapped a boy Raja, from a bus stop in Kolhapur and killed him. They kidnapped Pankaj Momanka, aged four years, but he proved liable to talk to passers-by about his parents. In 1996, the women hung him upside down from the ceiling and slammed his head against a wall until he was dead. In November 1996, Anjana hatched a plot to kidnap and murder her ex-husband Mohan's second daughter. 
But Moen's wife Pratima called police and Anjana, her two daughters and Renuka's husband were arrested. When the police interrogated all of them an unbelievable chapter of crime opened. The confessed to kidnap and killing of Granty, under their mother's orders. Eventually the four were charged with kidnapping 13 children and killing 9. In December 1997, Anjana died in police custody. The trial began in 1998 and continued for three years while Kieran gave evidence of the torture inflicted on the children. The sisters were found guilty of six of the nine murders, but one of the killings was overturned on appeal in the High Court of Mumbai. In 2011, the Kolhapur Sessions Court sentenced Seema and Renuka to death. The notorious killer sisters, Renu Kashind and Seema Gavit, who kidnapped and murdered babies and small children, are set to become the first women executed in India. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our channel for more thrilling crime stories. Thank you for watching this video.